notifications and you can visit us using our blog jcmatpanel.blogspot.com. You're welcome. Express f of theta equals 8 cos theta minus 15 sine theta in the form L cos theta plus alpha where L is a positive constant and alpha is an acute angle. Hence, find the general solution of the equation 8 cos theta minus 15 sine theta equals 13 and find the maximum and minimum value of 5 on f of theta plus 3. The first thing we have to do to answer this question is to expand and equate the coefficients that we have here. So we have S cos theta minus 15 sine theta to be equal to R cos theta cos alpha minus R sine theta sine alpha. Here, when you look at the identities, we have R cos alpha to be 8 and R sine alpha to be 15. This gives us 10 alpha to be equal to 15 on 8, and the angle alpha is at 10, 15 on 8, giving us 61.93 degrees. L will be equal to 8 squared plus 15 squared, the square root of all of that giving us 17. We can then express our f of theta as 17 cos theta plus 61.93 degrees, which is acute angle. Hence, means we should use this answer to answer the remaining part of the equation that is sub 2. Find the general solution of the equation 80 cos theta minus 150 sine theta to be equal to 13. Here we observe that they have multiplied this function by 10 and the word hence has been used as I just mentioned. So this is going to be equal to 10 into 8 cos theta minus 15 sine theta. But we have 8 cos theta minus 15 sine theta to be 17 cos theta plus 61.93 degrees. So replace it by this and we have 170 cos theta plus 61.93 degrees equals 13. Here, we take the cos inverse of both sides after dividing by 170 and we will have theta plus 61.93 degrees to be equal to act and 13 on 170 plus or minus 360 degrees n where n is a natural number, and our theta will be equal to this value. The next part of the equation requires us to look for the maximum and the minimum values of 5 on f of theta plus 3. Here we already have the value of f of theta to be 17 cos theta plus 61.93 degrees. The first thing we have to understand here is the cosine is lying in the interval from minus 1 to 1. So, minus 1 is less than or equal to cos theta plus 61.93 degrees, less than or equal to 1. Therefore, if you multiply this by 17, you will have minus 17 less than or equal to 17 cos theta plus 61.93 degrees, less than or equal to 17. And if we add 3 to all through, you have 17 to be 17 minus 17 plus 3 giving us minus 14 less than or equal to f of theta plus 3 less than or equal to 13 to 20. Therefore, we have the denominator here. What we have to do now is just take the numerator and divide by the extremes to see which one gives us the mean and the max. Since the left-hand side is negative, we are going to have 5 on minus 14 to be the minimum value and the maximum value will be 25 divided by 20 giving us 1 over 4. These are the maximum and minimum values that we have asked us for. Thank you so much and stay tuned for question 7. Thank you so much and don't forget to